So I'm gonna be going over five online poker bluff fails. Now I like to post my wins as well as my losses and you're gonna see some pretty ridiculous bluffs. Now as I'm getting into this, I'm gonna be breaking these hands down on Ignition Poker. And of course, if you guys are looking for any good online poker sites, Definitely recommend Ignition. We'll have some bonus sign up and resource links in the description. Okay, anyways, first hand was an ace four. We hit bottom pair and, uh, you know, run a runner flush possibilities. Turn card was really good for us, and I kind of got myself just stuck in this hand. And I just didn't want to give it up. You know, sometimes you're in a, a situation where you want to try to outplay somebody. Now, the turn card gave us the nut flush draw, and, you know, <laughs> Started with the hand with about 400 bucks. And I don't think I was ever going to fold here. He bet $100. River card was so sick. All right, we hit a third four. And I felt like there was a chance I was good, you know? But that card was definitely like the dagger for me. Yep. And that bluff did not pay off, clearly. Okay, next hand we had an ace king. Ace king's a tough one because sometimes, you know, you can get yourself in a spot where you put so much money into the pot that it's just like, you know, you just go for it and you just hope that it's good. Now I raised it up to 15 bucks, pretty standard. We're gonna get three bet to about 50. Obviously, I'm gonna make the call here. Okay, 858, really uh, bad looking board for sure. You know, I'm still ahead of some hands like, you know, ace queen, maybe ace jack suited, something like that. Or, you know, could be uh, an ace king versus ace king situation, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Anyways, I decided to try to, you know, take a stab at this. About 160 in the pot. This was just a weird hand. Okay, he went with a, a pretty big bet, $117. Which kind of smelled like a, you know, maybe like a big pocket pair, possibly. Maybe a bluff. So what I did here was I did a min raise to see where he was at. It looks like he wasn't expecting that, which was good. So I decided just to, you know, go for it here on the river with nothing. 266, shove. Just praying that this guy would fold. Just praying. Yeah, he really tanked this. Man, this hand was so sick. Okay, and we uh, we lost right there. So there's another uh, online poker bluff gone wrong for you guys. To be honest, though, I think that probably wasn't the worst play. All right, this next hand, pretty insane. Three five suited. I kind of liked. I kind of liked how I played this hand, honestly. Okay, so I three bet it. We were heads up to 50. I think he's going to four bet it to like 100. We both started the hand with $500. And yeah, I made the call. All right, not a good flop. <laughs> I mean, probably about as bad as it gets for the cards I've got. So putting him on a range of what he has, it's likely he could have an ace, obviously. Um, but, you know, I was going to try to outplay him. And this hand was shocking. 
Now, he immediately, you know, checked it on the turn. So he was afraid of the ace, and I knew that. So I felt like, you know what? I'm just going to make a play on this guy. Now, the call and the cards he's going to call me with, I think this was a super sick call. I want to know what you guys th think about this one because I don't dislike the way I played this. I mean, I played it like I had the ace. Uh, worst case scenario, maybe I've got like a king-queen type of hand. Uh, you know, uh, that's really, I mean... Just playing this back, I just can't believe this guy is going to make the call with the cards he's got, right? I I cannot believe it. And I don't dislike this play. I think that there was a good chance he was going to fold, and I'll tell you what. it's just This was just a, a sick call, super sick, and he let it run all the way down. I guess he felt like, if you've got me, you've got me kind of thing. Yeah, man, pocket jacks. Calling with pocket jacks on that, that's just crazy. I couldn't believe it. Okay, this next hand wasn't a complete bluff because I'm actually going to, you know, have a, a piece of it. But I'll tell you what, you know, don't play six do suited. Lesson learned here. All right, so, you know, we're looking at a flush draw, a super low one. And we got there on the turn. So not sure what this guy has at this point. The last thing I'm putting him on is a flush because, you know, what are the odds of a flush over flush? I mean, it's, uh, yeah. Anyways, he re-raised it, and there was no way I was going to get off this hand. I mean, I was hoping he had something like two pair, maybe jack nine, something like that with a flush card. But he had a queen eight, and you know, the odds of that happening, pretty low, so it is what it is, but you know, somewhat of a silly hand to play to begin with. All right, here we go. Uh, another suited eight, nine suited cards, and honestly, this bluff, <laughs> this was just not a good bluff. But obviously, I love these, uh, you know, suited connecting cards. Always playing them aggressive. And for me in the big blind, this is this is an easy three bet, especially if anybody raises just to like build the pot up all day long. Alright, player one raised it to six. All right, three bet it to 18. Not a bad play at all. Player one called. And a 7-5-5 five, five flop. So no flush draws. Uh, looking for the six for the straights. Um, I kind of put both or at least one of these guys on having like a high card, you know, like an ace-king or ace-queen type of hand. So this guy called... An $18 raise with King 5. Just so sick. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these hands. You know, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. And we'll see you in the next session.